Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we are still on the road to sacrifice, or road of sacrifices. I can't remember what it's called, actually, offhand. Where I think we're about to get to the next area of Farron's Keep, and I don't think there are any shortcuts or bonfires or anything else that makes it particularly easy to get back if I happen to die to what is, I'm presuming is a boss fight. I don't know that's a boss fight. It might not be a boss fight, but I'm presuming. Okay, Fallen Knight stuff. More story time. Okay. Fallen Knight Helm. Helm of an order of fallen knights who disbanded and fled, but met untimely deaths. The drab tattered hood conceals tough black metal, which provides dependable protection from fire. It is just possible to make out the majestic gold engravings on its surface. Huh. I mean, where... No, that's Master's Attire. Fallen Knight Armor is the same thing. Pretty heavy, I guess? Not bad defenses, though. About the same as Sellsword, but considerably lighter. I mean, what happens if I were to... I mean, the helm is a lot heavier. But how much heavier is it in the Farron stuff? Oh, that much heavier. Or not Farron stuff, the Mira stuff. How does this look? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I kind of like that. I'm gonna. It's not going to be my final armor by any stretch, but it's not a bad one for now. And hey, overall improvement to everything absorption-wise. I'm guessing the leggings are probably not going to be really that useful. Fallen Eye Trousers are a bit too heavy. Yeah. An extra couple pounds, it's not going to be enough. Unless, of course, I can lose the two pounds from this, which I kind of can't. Unless I go over the Cellsword Gauntlet. Actually, that wouldn't be enough anyway. I don't think. Oh, it is. But is it worth it? Oops. Well, now I can't even tell. And maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. Was the mirror trousers? No, I guess it is actually worth it. All right, cool. Bit more damage absorption. I am slightly less likely to die. As I say, right before an enemy is probably going to kill me. It reminds me a lot of Havel. Oh no, this is... Am I serious having to deal with essentially Havel? Now? With a friend. I'm just going to see if there's anything past this. And if not, I might homeward out of here. I don't know. Oh, what's this? See us. Hey, a bon bonfire! Awesome! That was totally worth running past those two enemies. I might deal with them later, but... Not right now. Be back in a sec. I'll go and level up and then come back. Because I got a bunch of souls. I got loads of souls. More than I know what to do with. My backup strategy is generally level up. So I'm going to do that. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I got to upgrade. I'll be back afterwards anyway. All right, we're back. I probably should have mentioned also... I, it's probably pretty obvious. I'm not getting super concerned about hollowing. I think I might have mentioned, but yeah, I was talking to some someone and some people, and from what I understand, hollowing is actually not a game-ending thing. It's not going to cause you to just completely lose your entire save or your entire run. That was all I was worried about. Like, not, I was not worried about anything else. Dying wasn't a big deal. It was just a matter of, I want to make sure that I don't waste time and have to redo the entire run. Already, like, ten hours in or whatever. Ow! Whoa, what the heck is that? Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought it would... Ow, why did I roll into you? Ow! No, this is not viable. I want to know what's over here. Well, yeah, I figured that would happen. But yeah, apparently hollowing's only real effect is that you look ugly, and 
might have some effect on some other thing later on in the game or some weapon or some esoteric small thing that's not actually that big of a deal. I kind of want my souls back. I don't know how I'm going to deal with these enemies. Well, oh, okay. Whew. Was there something out here? Well, there is. Oh. And it's broken, whatever that shortcut is. Ow, you hit me? Oh no, there's... Is the other guy there? Seriously, you st still hit me. All right. Oh, okay. It's not quite in range enough to actually hurt, but it was in range enough to slow me down a bit. At least I pull these two apart. That's the important thing. Uh, man, these are going to respawn, aren't they? Oops, nope. I hate getting staggered out like that. That didn't poise you out? Really? Well, that killed you out, at least. It's one way to stop you. No, I think they don't respawn. It's probably like... Ooh, Exile Greatsword, what's this? Probably like Man Eater Mildred before. Bloodstained greatsword wielded by one of the watchdogs of Farron, who preside over the slumber of fallen warriors. The blade is a reminder of the exile's past misdeeds. Inhuman strength is required to wield this heaviest of curved greatswords. And the skill is a spin slash which slices foes. We saw what it did. Spins around and slices everything. It's a pain in the butt. Now I have to deal with that, but apparently I did, but I got through it. And now the other one. Although thankfully I only have to deal with one, since I killed the other killed the first one, the exile. Time for praise the sun. Man, there's so many things I'm not looking at though. I mean that big lake. There's loads of stuff in the lake. Where'd that patrolling enemy go? Ah, it's a giant enemy crab. But they're guarding an item. That's so tempting. There's an enemy out here. Which I guess is no longer out here. Hmm. I want to get to that item. I want to know what it is. But I got 6,000 souls and I don't really want to lose them doing so. And it's only a couple thousand left until I'm at the next level. And I really kind of need these levels. I mean, it's I got stamina just now. Which is nice. Kind of surprised I don't see the other one. Are they down here? All right. Looks like no. Oh, fire and keep. There we are. Oh, this is Blight Town. I mean, it's the lower part of Blight Town. But I'm getting poisoned. Yeah, I got. Po I get poisoned in here. Because these are the slugs of Blighttown. They're going to drop Titanite Shards too, aren't they? Because that's what happened in Blighttown with these slugs. Although, thankfully this is lower Blighttown, which, other than the poison ground, is actually overall okay. Like, one of the big problems with Blighttown, at least for frame rate, was the upper section, which was kind of interesting, though. It was a cool section, it just was the upper section. And it had a bad frame rate problem. Ragged mask. Rag that covers the wearer's mouth. Likely a makeshift item that helped reduce intake of various poisonous and noxious fumes. Well, they all improved poison resistance, but none of them really 
do that much. Well, I could do that one and then switch these out for a lighter gauntlet still. There are no lighter gauntlets! No! I guess lighter pants then. How light can I go without losing what I need for anything? Okay, this is the most... Mirror trousers looks like the most weight efficient option. Oh, wait, am I? What am I? Wait. There's no weight. I can't tell what it is. 67.4%. Okay. And now I have a mask on. And my poison resist is better, I guess. Oh, it's not actually as bad. In Blighttown, you. In one. This is Blighttown's in one, by the way. You actually had to get a ring in order to be able to run through it without being slowed down. But this is just the beginning area. It may be that later on... Where's the moss? I should have bought moss. It's a great opportunity to buy moss, and I never bought it. Oh well. I'll buy some later. Hmm. How do I want to do this? The thing is with poison... I mean... I know I got poisoned earlier, and it didn't do me much damage. It didn't really do me much harm. The thing you got to realize about poison is that poison isn't poison. Poison is a family of poisons. There's actually two related statuses, poison and toxic. Both are considered poison. Toxic is basically just generally given to the group of poison effects that are stronger than what is generally referred to as just poison. And I missed. Whoa, okay, that's not what I want. Get out of here before I get fully poisoned. That was less than ideal. It's like they set this up for a jumping for a dropping attack and then it didn't work. Or plunging attack, that's what it is. Ah, again I missed plunging attacks. No, 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 I'm gonna get poisoned. How bad is this poison? It's not terribly bad. Could be better, I suppose. Got it. I could be not poisoned. Another Estus shard. Oh, I forgot to reinforce Estus. But hey, two Estus shards. I should probably use them, especially given that I'm going to be stuck here in this poisonous bog for the foreseeable future. And another Titanite shard, which means I can upgrade my claymore and my crossbow. And then you just—I'll kill you because you're here and threatening. And killing you will actually get my health back. At least attacking you will get my health back, to be precise. Oh, would you just get hit? You get hit, and you hit me! I can't believe you hit me! Actually, I guess I can believe you hit me, because everything hits me in here. I am so battered. Oh, that was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. But I have been hit a lot by things. It's mildly annoying. Ooh, prism stones. I wonder what drops of death I'll be finding... Sooner or later. I think I've gone through Prism Stone before. Basically, it's you drop it, and it either shows you the path, or it breaks the giant screen because it's gone too far, and you'd fall to your death if you were to drop down that particular path. Stone Parma, type of shield I don't really want to describe right now because kind of poison. Ow. Man, these are more aggressive than the ones back at Blight Town. The one that's back at Blighttown were a bit of a pain. Ow. Alright. I'm out of stamina. Shoot. I mean, it looks like... Ow. Looks like I have the healing effect just after a certain number of attacks in the span of time. Not necessarily a certain number of attacks in the chain, like, certain combo. So, I guess that works? Ah, there's other items here. Like, I've still got poison to go with. I might as well, like, when I'm poisoned, I may as well go through the bog, because I'm poisoned. Who cares? Like, I'm not gonna get more poisoned. I'm gonna stay as poisoned as I am until I stop being poisoned. So I got loads of time to be just exploring this place. And then, of course, killing these things gives me... Ow. Well, in theory, gives me health. 
hurting these things, I should say, gives me health. Or rather, attacking these things gives me health. It just takes like six attacks every time. More Titanite shards. Wow, that's a lot of Titanite. This place is full of this stuff. And more of you die. I didn't get healed for that. Oh, and well now I'm not poisoned anymore. Okay, gotta be careful again. The time for recklessness is over. Kind of. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna go back. I have some stuff to double check back at the fire. Make sure it's still burning and... Oh. Yeah, okay, never mind. There is the place where a rusted iron ring or something like it would be really nice. This place right here, this item better be worth it. Thankfully, no enemies are around. And I'm gonna steal my fate by saying that. Okay, yeah, there are enemies around. They're right there. This poison moss. Purple moss clump, finally! That is what I was talking about. Slash complaining about. Hmm. Eh, I haven't used those in a while. I really desperately need purple moss or poison moss, whatever. Okay, I think what I'll do. Wow, this fat rolls me. Run up here. I'm guessing stuff is going to try to kill me. This is a great sword. Visions of guts. For those not familiar, that's a bers it, the great sword's a berserk reference. I haven't actually read berserk or seen berserk, but I know that the whoops, Hidetaka Miyazaki, the director of the game, is a big fan of berserk. And while it's more so a thing in Demon Souls than Dark Souls, it's a thing. Now, is there a rusted iron ring or its equivalent here? Well, if there are, I'm not going to find it right now, because I do not really have what I need to get out of here efficiently. Ah, die you! Ew. How many eyes does this thing have? Oh, those aren't eyes, they're just... They're just horns or something. No, I'm poisoned now. Okay, let's just try to find the way back to where I was. Which I think is this way. Alright, so... I've got some stuff to deal with. I've got some business to take care of. I will guess I'll cut back to when I'm back here after taking care of some business. Okay, so I decided to actually come back to Yol. Just, you know what? Why not? Just go for it. And now when I try to draw true ah, strength... You have attained ample strength. All will soon be clear, my good lord. So apparently I can only get five levels this way. And it also means my holiday is going to go by five every time I die. But for her, I'm weak, oh, yeah. but don't be sick. All right, so my hauling is going to go up by five from this point on. But like I said, I'm fairly certain that there's no practical maximum or there's no issue other than I look really bad. Which the mask kind of covers for now. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. See what happens. I'm actually kind of curious. Now that apparently I've been told it's not... Oh, don't have one of those. I mean, since apparently it's not an issue, it's not something that's going to end the game. I'm really quite in... Quite curious. Like, well, I want to know what this does. Like, what will soon be clear? Man, that is that's a pregnant question. All right, so let's go to the right. I went to the left. Got a lot of stuff to the left. Upgraded my claymore. All right, more purple moss. Wow, if I'd gone to the right, that would have made life about as easy as it was already. So, yeah, okay. I wonder if fat rolling is a question of I'm in the poison? Or what happens if I were to take off stuff? 
No, it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, it does! Okay, no, wait, that's the area I can't... Jeez, sheesh. Yeah, okay, it does not matter. I looked so pretty. Alright, well, I guess I've got to moss up. Alright, so I, I leveled up a bit of health and endurance. Or vigor and endurance. So I got more health, I got more stamina. Because both of those are necessary things. Relatively permanently necessary. You never really don't need them. And is it mirror trousers? Let's just get my weapon so I know. Okay, Claymore. Can I get... No, I can't. I think in Bloodborne you could actually do multiples at once. Unlike here, where I can only do the first one. Like, whatever slot I pick. Rather than going and picking all the slots. Alright, so I think it was Mira Leggings. Or Mira Trousers. Oh no, it was Fallen Night Trousers, but I was using a different set of gloves. Or, no, I wasn't. No, it's not bad either. All right. Oh! That's how secret works. You just walk... What in the world? Uh, okay. Well, all right. Then I guess the game really does have collision issues. I mean... I was joking before about that dog there that was breaking collisions. Wow. That's kind of embarrassing, I gotta be honest. I'm also not sure why I'm mossing up so much, because frankly it's not that useful. Not at this point. Now I've got to figure out where I'm supposed to go from here. I mean, there aren't really any obvious paths, as far as I can tell. And it looks like there was that other path that I was playing around in. Oh, it's up here, actually. What's up here? Oh, right, the enemies I was scared of. Well, you I know I can deal with. Provided I have a full stamina bar and no one else is attacking me. Bit restrictive conditions, I'll admit. Ow. Eat my upgraded claymore! Even with your shield, it does no good. Oh, actually, never mind. I just broke your guard. Awesome! Rotten Grooze Spears. That's what they are. They are Grooze. That is the name of the enemy. A crude, half-rotten, curved spear. Choice weapon of the Blunthorn Grooves, descendant of the Acolytes of Farron Keep. The rancid tip is drenched in rotten waste, making it acutely poisonous. It charges. You hold spear at the waist and charge. So that's the thing I call this Pate Spear charge, because in two Pate Spears, strong attack was basically that. But I guess Spears as a rule have that as an attack. I should have bought more bolts. I mean, I have plenty of bolts. I just, you know, could use more. I could always use more. Bolts are such a useful item. But yeah, that's just weird. Like, seriously, they did, did they not test all the collision in this game? I guess they didn't. Wait, what? Oh. I think I might regret that. I extinguished a flame. Question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Or is that the goal? I mean, it looks like there's another flame in the distance, so I guess my goal is to extinguish the other flame.
Oh, okay. I'm gonna hazard a guess that that is where the next Lord of Cinder is. And I might want to extinguish a couple more of these in order to open the path. Just hazarding a guess. Don't actually know, just, you know, guessing. More rotten pine resin. Can I only have five of these? Apparently I can. Okay, that's a little limited. But storage comes back after I die, so it's just five in a life. You're already dead. This is the alternate path that I didn't take. I have now taken. So the whole point of that exercise was to extinguish a flame with my hand. Which burns. Just thought I'd let you all know. Be wary of losing sanity. Wrong game. Oh, never mind. Actually, maybe maybe not. Ow. Got seven Estus. I better make use of it. These silly, weird, multi-horned satyr things. Oh yeah, those are horns. How many horns does that thing have? You know what? That's fine. Things can have as many horns as they'd like. It's eyes that I draw the line at. And more Titanite shards. All right, is that? All right, that's the place I was at before. This place past where I was at, where the where the bog is particularly deep. That's another spot where the bog is particularly deep. Hopefully, there's a ring somewhere. But I don't know. I mean, the ring I mentioned before that I was talking about the the rusted iron ring that in one showed up in basically. Well, it showed up where you started. If you went back to the place you started, you could find it, if you knew where to look and had the right key. Okay, where... What am I looking for? I just picked up a thing, and I can't seem to keep straight what I just picked up. It says right here. I got distracted thinking about stuff, but I guess it's nothing. Oh, Titanite shard. Yeah, right, that's what I wanted to know. How many shards do I have? I have three. I cannot upgrade a thing. Did this one just be the long sword of g Oh, come on, seriously? Alright. Well, that was easy enough. Kind of embarrassed I got hit, but, eh, whatever. I'll live. They'll survive that encounter, at least. Oh, there's the other flame! This is less complicated than I thought. Okay, so that's two flames down. Now, how many flames are there? I have a feeling that the end of this area is actually the Lord of Cinder that I'm meant to fight. Right, well, there's two more flames left from the looks of it. All right. Two out of four. Try luring it out. Oh, bonfire ahead. And one thing I want to do... Two things I want to do, actually. The first thing I want to do is obviously check around here. What's around here? Is there anything useful? A Thirby Lonely. No. Wait a sec. Those are not eyes. Those are just growths. I thought those were eyes for a second. I thought the tree had been granted eyes. Be very strange. All right, what are we doing with here? All right, fire the head. I'll call that luring it out. Whoa! I guess it's not luring it out. Ah, not close enough to be targeted. Okay, is there a way to lure this thing out? I would think there would be, but it doesn't look like it. It seems to be very keen on staying in that one spot. So... I have to do this. I can waste all my standard bolts, but it seems like it's a more efficient option to use the standard bolts. 
I just don't trust fighting the others all at once. Hope you don't mind sniping. Because that's what's happening. I mean, shooting from the hip is, of course, always an option. That's an option I like, personally. Gotta remember, I got that two-handed beauty of a weapon skill. Because it breaks guard. As I will now demonstrate. Oh, what? Seriously? Ow. Seriously? Uh, okay, well, that's not gonna work. Wow! I was a bit worried that would kill me. As always, I'm always worried things will kill me. That did not kill me. And I've got another bonfire. Just light that bonfire before doing anything else. Okay, no exploding bonfire. Oh yeah, I guess Aldi is not a thing in this game. So exploding bonfires are not going to be a thing in this game. Most likely. Hopefully. Frankly, I have no way to be sure. And that's the gate. Ooh, I want to see what's there. But it's the end of the episode, so we'll have to do that at a later time. So thanks for watching, and until the next time, you guys have a good night. We made progress!